too small that goes for a kidney to her bladder. And she is in so much pain sometimes and, and they think she has kidney stones and I don't know whether the stones can't pass through it but she is my patch of beans yeah. <laughs> and you all are my family and I want to see her feel better I yeah. have seen her in pain she got off work yesterday and I had a migraine and David told me to lay down and see if I could get it to ease off and he went to Walmart and my phone was where I couldn't hear it and she had called me and I didn't hear it ring and so she called my mom and dad and when they went to get her she was in the park of blood and she was laying in her car and that heals my heart to know that she was laying there and I, I wasn't there for her but she is hurt all the time and she looks so pale and she's so young to be in so much pain and I know what it feels like to hurt constantly and I don't want that for her I want the Lord to touch her I don't want her to suffer Amen. Amen. God. Yeah, we certainly will. Yeah. Amen. Come right on. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's all come around her. Let's all bind it together. He said, whatsoever you bind on earth, shall be bound in heaven. We don't know the will of the Lord, but we can ask, can't we? In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Praise the Lord. In the name of Jesus, God, we come before you, Lord, and God, we receive all things. We know, God, that you bring the Lord that you bring in the night. I want to pray, God, in the name of Jesus, God, that you would touch the baby. God, that touch the Lord or whatever it is in her body that's making her to be sick and to be saved. God, we ask you today, God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, God, to bless her. Here, amen. I'll just get Brandon while he's just standing here. Uh, a preacher, uh, Conrad Goodman, uh, he was at our church probably four months ago, and he's a preacher that pastors down in Tennessee. And uh, he's got a handicapped daughter, reminds me a lot of Tammy. And uh, she, I guess, Dave and Lorraine send her CDs and uh, just constantly, just constantly. Uh, uh, Conrad would say, I'd wake up in the morning and I'd go into, uh, she'd wake me up in the morning and I'd go in the bedroom and say, I could hear my, my daughter in there saying, preach, Brother Jason, preach, listen to them CDs. <laughs> she died uh, on Thursday. She died. And I mean, she wasn't an old, she was not old at all. She died Thursday. Six hours later, his granddaughter, his grandson got choked on a piece of meat. Six hours later after his daughter died. She got he got choked on a piece of me and he passed away. And uh, I've tried to call him and, and, and hadn't got been able to and I told my wife, I said, I don't blame him. I wouldn't want to talk to nobody either. And uh, but I'd like for Brandon to stand in prayer for him today that God would help that yeah. man. You'll remember he was here bend over halls. He yeah. yeah. preached that night here on Wednesday night. Yeah. And that, that man's that man's world is 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 gone. Okay. His world is gone. But for the Lord, some way, somehow. God can help him. Yeah. God can yes. help him. I was read the scripture this morning that God measures that grace to every man yeah. Lord, yeah. as he has need. So if you've got a heart today, I'm going to anoint Brother Brandon. Yeah, Would you please pray for that? If it's the Lord's will tonight, 
If it's all right with everybody, I'd like to just take them up an offer and just send money down there to let them know that there's a church in Virginia that don't know them all that good, but yet we're praying for them, that God would help them. Amen. God, yes, in the name of Jesus, we anoint you, Brandon, yes. Conrad, yes. and this family, good preacher man, good clean living man. Let's ask God to come for me. Oh, God, in Jesus' name. Upon me, hey. Lord, our heart is broken for this preacher. This heart Lord, I can't imagine what he's going through. I can't imagine the load that's on his shoulders, Lord. But God, they just, even though, Lord, he's down in Tennessee, God, there's one body. And God, when they lack and need one member, God, that other member, Lord, supplies that need. And God, Lord, that there may be one body, one faith. And I pray right now, in the name of Jesus, God, that our hearts and our affections and our faith, Lord, would come together, Lord, to send the mighty touch of God uh, in this man, Lord, his, his wife and, and God, his, his daughter, Lord, that lost her son. Oh, God, I, my heart is just so broken for him today. God, I pray for him. I pray, Lord, that some way, somehow, that you would bless him, Lord. God, that you'd get them through the funeral, Lord. Get them through all of this, Lord. And know that heaven has got a little sweeter. And God, know, Lord, that the glory of the Lord, God, is inside of them, that the suffering God at this time that they're going through, Lord, is going to be, it's going to be worth it for them, God. I don't even know how to pray, Lord. Just help them, God. Just help them in Jesus' name, Lord. In the name of Jesus God in the name of Jesus God thank you Jesus yes amen it's I'd like to anoint Hannah if she would I'd like to anoint her for Julie my daughter Julie had to go to the hospital last night amen in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ Jason I've been having a meeting I'm thinking about passing out every time I get up. Can I have some prayer? In the name of the Lord Jesus, bless the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. He died for all. There you did. Brother Jason, you get a prayer call. By his stripes, we are healed. And if the Lord don't do it, I don't believe it ain't because we didn't have faith. It's just God's got sometimes a different plan. Amen. A different plan. And it takes a while of living for the Lord and letting that word get inside of you to realize that. But it just what it does is let's trust in you. Yeah. Let's trust in you. Yeah. Trust in the Lord. So let's ask God. Anybody else? Yes. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Oh, that's so good that other folks want to have other folks to know it. Yeah. yeah. Amen. That's good. I was thinking this morning, I was reading the scripture. I'll say this and then we'll pray. If you imagine the body of Christ is like maybe three bottles, three uh, containers full. And then when one has need, some of that comes out. But that one that's full pulls over and all them members are connected to each other. So when times when Scarlett is, is lacking, Hannah pours over into her. Amen. She may be strong in God and goes back to God and gets it full. That's when you're in unity, folks. It's when one member supplies the lack that's needed, you see? And that's love that does that. Love. You've got to love each other. Before you can work, you've got to really love each other. Amen. Anyone else this morning before we pray? I like to be anointed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. God bless you, brother. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's stretch our hands this way and believe in our God. Our God in heaven, in the name of Jesus. We come to the throne of God today, Lord, not in who we are, not in who I am, God, or anybody else, Lord, but we come in the name of Jesus. In the Spirit, God, we've been into this body, Lord, and we've got access unto God the Father. God, I come boldly today, Lord, and ask you, God, for all of these needs. God, would you give Sister Linda the faith, Lord, to believe, God, that you're going to touch her today. Oh, God, the pain and God, whatever that, that it may be in her body, God, that's telling her. Then, God, for my daughter, Julie, Lord, would you touch her today, God? Would you raise her up, Lord, off of the bed, God? And would you work a miracle? And then these others, Lord, that we've anointed and made her, Lord. 
cross and brother mad. And God, we know, God, that this world is not our home. God, we're just passing through. God, we're strangers and pilgrims here. But God, there's a brighter day ahead for the people of God. Lord, I all we can do while we're here is when these troubles come and these afflictions come, is come to you in faith and believe, God, that you're going to work things out, Lord, for the good of your people. We love you today, God. We trust in you, Lord. We know, Lord, that your eyes is always over your people and your ear is always open under their prayers. And I'm believing today that you're going to hear our prayer and you're going to do a work in this church. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you, people. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Yes. Hallelujah. It's all right. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Some of you may not know what Hope was talking about. They told when they did an ultrasound on my wife, I was on my way to revival. I didn't get to go and sit in on that ultrasound. And they said as soon as Zachary is born, you'll have to do an emergency surgery, something to do with his kidneys. There's no vessel there. Oh, it just tore me up. I was scheduled to preach that night. Me and Jerry Scalp was in a revival. Jerry got happy and he got up testifying. He got to preaching and I was wanting to preach. My heart was broken over my boy. Yeah. And Jerry come back there, shook my hand. Never hadn't told nobody. Come back there and shook my hand. He said, Jason, don't worry about it. He said, God can put a vessel where there is no vessel. <laughs> that hasn't been believe. God. Amen. I didn't worry about it. That's that right. Amen. That been I had one more fit for the day. <laughs> Nobody in that church knew what was going on, but Hallelujah. the Lord. But I had me one more fit. Now, the Lord, He knows all things. All right? things. Amen. He's in you all and through you all. Yeah. yeah. That's what Paul says. That's Amen. right. Anybody else got anything you need to do? Brother Jason, <laughs> I'm they done some tests, and the next time I want the test to be back better. They said that she, her valve was leaking in her heart. It wasn't working right. It, when they done the ultrasound, they couldn't find it, and then it, they found it, and then it was leaking, and then it's just a big mess. She couldn't do her stress test. And I just pray. Yeah. When she goes back, oh, that everything's fixed. Yeah. That there's no leak. Yeah. And she can do her stress test. And we can just oh, praise God. God. Yeah. 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 All right. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Really sick. Who is it? Claude Dodson. Claude Dodson. Okay, let's remember Claude. <clears throat> In the name of Jesus. <clears throat> well, Jesus said, Be in heart to always. Right. Yeah. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Anyone else? All right. We're waiting. Okay. Okay. Come right on, Dylan. That's good, son. You want to be anointed and prayed for? In the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone else? Jason, I want to be anointed. I've been sick for few days and I know that God can heal me. I, I asked Creed yesterday, I said, Creed, uh, pray that my mom will get better. And he said, I will, Mama. Yeah. Uh, I feel better this morning. I, I, I started to stay at home and then I thought, well, if I stay at home, God will stay at home. And, and so God, I just came and I feel a lot better. Yeah. Amen. 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 I like having for his having trouble sleeping. He's sleepwalking, having nightmares, and I just woke up and I'm going to get him from me. I know that. And then we'll call her and even pray that God will help him with him. Yeah. The next time Sarah sings that song, I'm going to leave it all on this side of the river. 
I expect a little more out of all of us. <laughs> Amen. Ain't that the truth? In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you could, I'd like to pray for my mother's granny, because uh, I'm not sure where she is right now. I don't think anybody really does. I'm just hoping that she's all right where she is. Let's see more. Okay. We serve the Lord. Lord in Jesus' name. Lord, would you touch us? That's bad in hell. Yeah. That devil will fight a little fella like this. Yeah. He's yeah. the devil, ain't he? That's all it is. He's the devil. Amen. Devil. Yeah. I don't have anything really bad going on right now. So it's easy for me to say it. And sometimes things just happen in life. But if it is of the devil... And we know that for a fact. That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Because things in life just happen. But anything of the devil, the Lord said that we have power over, over that. it. Amen. It ain't something we got to strip in the corner and just cry and ask God to come down and help. We've got power to move in that. That's right, Brandon. Yeah, he gives us authority. That's right. And power over the devil. Mm -hmm. Amen. Come right here, sis. Mama's woman anoints you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus. All right, anyone else? All right, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, how wonderful, Lord, that you are, God, that the door of mercy has been opened, God, that we have access to come to God. Lord, I come today, Lord, as humble as I know how, in the name of Jesus. And God, we ask you humbly, God, to look down in your love and your mercy upon all these requests. God, we can't rehearse them over, God, because our mind is limited, God, to be able, Lord, to pray and, and to name out one by one but God, you heard every request today, Lord. You know the affection. These are the people of the kingdom, God. These are people, Lord, that is warring the battle. God, they're fighting the fight. And God, sometimes, Lord, we lose a few battles. And sometimes we uh, lose a few things, God. But yet we know, Lord, that uh, in this world, God, that we're going to have tribulations. And God, in this world, we're going to have offenses. And God, besides all that, just the, this uh, wearing out of our bodies and God we understand God all of that but God the hope that's in each one of us is yearning us on and God looking God and hastening unto that day and I pray God that you would make every one of these trials God that we're all facing God to make us stronger oh God to put more faith in us Lord to look unto you God to unattach ourselves, God to this world and God to look to higher grounds and know that our God sits on high and is touched by the feeling of our infirmities. I believe, God, that you're touched today as mothers cry for their children. I believe you're touched, Lord, when people are in pain. And God, going through these things, we ask you, God, in Jesus' holy name, God, we pray. <clears throat> Hallelujah to your name, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I like the other North man. Praise the Lord. I like you to know me. I've been so congested that we start the Bible tomorrow night. <clears throat> oh, yes. I believe in the power of prayer. I believe in the miracle working hand of Jesus. I know God can do all things. <clears throat> In the name of Jesus, God. Lord, I believe in God with my faith. Lord, in my brother's faith together. Lord Jesus. Touch our brother today, Lord. In the name of God, that you're my father. God, I can ask you anything. Oh, my Lord, in the name of Jesus, God. I pray, God, in the name of Jesus, God. We ask you to touch our God, that we can preach, God. We can preach, God. We can preach, God. In the name of Jesus, God. I know, God, that you are the power. In the name of Jesus, I know, God, that you can do all things. Jesus. I love you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Touch it. Move on. Bless the name of the Lord. All right.
Yeah, you sang my Jesus what you said. Yeah, yeah, they'll come sing my Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. If we'll all promise to worship my Jesus. Amen. Let's all worship the Lord this morning. Let's give the God of heaven the praise that he deserves today. How wonderful that he is. How wonderful that he is. Praise the Lord. Yeah, bless the Lord. Yes, all the young folks, come on. Come on, young folks. Everybody come help them sing. Amen. Grace is going to sing this this morning. I don't know what we'll do after that. May go to Sunday school. May have, I don't know what we do. We just follow the Lord. God knows what's best, don't he? I like to see everybody get their healing. I believe it's God's pleasure to prosper us in health. It is, Jason. It is. I, you know, we, we carry sickness around, but I think of what Walter says all the time before we go to the doctor and we try medicine. Why don't we try the Lord? Right. You remember that king that did not consult with God of the God of heaven? Yeah. Amen. You remember him and what God thought about that? And the prophet said, is there not because there's a God in heaven that you'd go and acquire of all these other things that you may be healed? The prophet said, you go tell the king he's going to die. Yeah. Hey, Amen. Because you do not confront with God. Now, God is a present help yeah. in the time of trouble. I found him out to be so. Last night, we were so worried about Julie, and uh, we was out of town, and we got word that she was on her way to Johnson City Hospital, and she sent her a picture of her leg, and uh, we were so worried that her leg, that it had, uh, she had infection in her bloodstream, and she was running a temperature. Well, we just we just prayed. I was in Knoxville and she was on her way to Johnson City. We just prayed. And by the time that she got to Johnson City, uh, she wasn't running a temperature. And they did an ultrasound on her leg and ran her blood. And her blood come back positive. And my wife, when the doctor had come in and said that uh, they'd done the ultrasound on her leg, was worried about a blood clot in her leg. And the doctor said that. My wife just said, it had to be the Lord. Amen. It had to be the Lord. So we thank God today. Little things that God does for his children. I don't want to take none of it like. I may need him tomorrow, so I got to thank him today. Yeah. Amen for what he done for us. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Just tell me about Jesus, Grace. Tell me about him. Praise the Lord. Are you past the point of weary? Is your burden weighing heavy? Is it all?
Praise the Lord. Yeah, bless the Lord. I was singing that in my yipper. Praise the Lord. Yeah, bless his good name. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Bless his name. Thank you, Lord. Good day. Yes. Thank you, Lord. changed my mind uh, about a few things. David's always been one of my greatest people that I love to read about and I thought, Lord, I've always wanted to be like David was. Yeah. But I changed my mind. I moved it back over to Jacob now. Mm -hmm. Amen. I, I moved it as I grow a little older. Yeah. And uh, Jacob, what I'm getting ready to read to you 
Uh, Jacob's an old man. Yeah. He's done slept on the ground. Amen. For 21 years waiting on his wife. He's done been chased by Esau, his brother. He's done been told that Joseph was dead. And all this. And amen. He's, he's an old man. He's done made the journey from Canaan down to Egypt. And he's down there with Joseph. And all the brothers is down there. And the scripture said in Hebrews chapter 11, the heroes of faith, it said, By faith, Jacob, when he was dying, blessed both the sons of Joseph and worshiped, leaning upon the top of his staff. Jacob was leaning on the top of his staff and he gave up the ghost and he prophesied yeah. unto all of his boys what was going to become of them. Yeah. And I thought, man, if I, there's one thing that I'd like to, for my family, I believe if you could ask Simeon and Levi and Judah and some of them about their daddy, I believe the last thing they'd say, I remember my daddy, he was worshiping when he died. He was worshiping when he died. Wouldn't it be a good way to leave this world worshiping God when you die? Worshiping the God of heaven. Amen. When you die. That's, it takes the joy of the Lord to do that, friend. It takes the joy of God to do that. I want to be a worshiper, don't you? I want to bless. It's easy to thank God when you've got everything sitting in front of you. Like Brandon preached things that your eyes can see. Material things. It's vanity anyway. Amen. But we thank God for him. But when you worship the Lord, you worship God because of who that God is. Yeah. Jacob had been, when he met a man, uh, uh, Pharaoh down there, he said, how old are you? And he said, the days of my pilgrimage. I like that. Yeah. He said, the days of my pilgrimage are 130. He knew, a man, that he was just a pilgrim. And later in the book of Hebrews, the Bible said, if they were mindful of that country from which they come out, they would have no doubt, amen, they would have no doubt returned. But they declare plainly. They wouldn't know, they wouldn't know uh, fishing around for what they was talking about. They declare plainly that they seek a city whose builder and maker, that's what we're seeking today. That's what we, every one of us are seeking today is a city. We're none, of, but while we're here, we're going to have to endure some things. While we're here, we're going to have to fight some battles. There are going to be days we're going to lose. Then there are going to be days God's going to let us win. But through it all, amen, the light is still shining, amen, from the image of the glory of Christ, yeah. sitting on the throne, it's a reflection and it beams off of our heart and it comes out of our face, amen the glory of the incorruptible God, ain't you glad today amen, I'd like to be like Jacob when I died, I'd like to worship the Lord amen, I'd like for you to worship the Lord, I'd like for me to worship the Lord give God the honor and the praise that he deserves, sing another sissy, praise the Lord, God, I got it that. I got to see my mom in her last She was so weak. She couldn't lift her hands and she took her fingers and, and strolled them through her blankets for two hours so she got both of her hands raised above her head. And I think if you ask my children the last thing they heard from my mom, she would look at them and she'd say, bless the Lord, Jacob. Bless the Lord, Anna. Bless the Lord, Samuel. There's not a time when we don't stand to bless the Lord that I don't think about my mommy because that's all she was worried about as she was leaving the yeah. She left a heritage behind for me, yes. for me and for my children. Yeah. And I appreciate God the other day being brought back one of the messages that Jacob Ford preached the other night. Me and my sister-in-law was headed from Damascus to Lowe's and it just seemed like just different odd things was happening on the roads that slowed us down. Yeah. And we got almost to the water treatment yeah. plant Taters. Got one of the awful blessings ever got in my life. Hallelujah. 
finally got down there when I was digging them taters back, I finally got down there to that old rotten tater. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, don't you? Yeah, That's the one. And the Holy Ghost spoke to me while I was down there. The Holy Ghost spoke to me and said, my seat don't rot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Woo! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hey, Amen. His seed don't rot. Don't rot. Yeah. Hey, Amen. It don't Never rot. Never die. Amen. Hey, Amen. It's Never that, that wet, gooey yeah. one in there. That's yeah. the one you planted. But his seed. Yeah. Don't rot. Y'all getting that? Yeah. Lord, I'm jumping on the dirt. Woo! Thank you, Lord. That seed that I put in my children. Yeah. It ain't rot. Amen. Amen. Go ahead and say. Amen. 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 Thank you, God. Yeah. When I'm dead and gone, the seed won't be wet. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Go ahead, say. Praise His name, God. Jesus. 
And her hug and said, are you all right? Are you all right? And she just sounded so pitiful and weak. Yeah. And I said, oh, God. I, I was all the way in Russell County, and she was all the way in Dudley, in Washington County, pretty much. Yeah. And I just couldn't get to her. Oh, so I yeah. called Abram to get here to meet me at the end of the valley. He made me. And as soon as I was turning in, I was calling Donald and Walter because I couldn't get a hold of Kim. And I told him I was taking it with me. And I was not answering the phone. I said, Where are y'all at? And I, they said, We're already in West End Abbey. And so they was probably eight, ten minutes ahead of me. Yeah, bless the Lord. So I just thank God for, yeah. for them being far yeah. ahead of me because I know once they got to her, they could get to her faster yeah. than I can. Yeah. God was with her, but yeah. it's yeah. just such a blessing from God that He done all that just for me. That's all right, then. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. Amen. I feel so helpless. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody else want to praise the Lord this morning? Yeah, praise your sweet name. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Praise Bless your name, Lord. I found a puppy on the side of the road, and uh, I, I took him in and got him cleaned up. And I, I've done it a couple of different times, and you know, I help him find homes and all that. And uh, sitting up here thinking about it, it's sort of like how God did me. He brought me in. He got all the ticks and all the fleas all puppy. Yeah. He gave me a bath. Yeah. Made sure that I was healthy and that I was well taken care of. And then he put me somewhere that he knew that I'd be safe. Amen. 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 Now, normal people don't see stuff like that. Yeah. But God has revealed it unto babies. Yeah. Amen. Thank God. Yes. Somebody else need to thank the Lord. Yeah, praise God. Yeah. Yeah. When I was when I was young, about 15, 16 years old, Larry and Luther used to take me out to a little job they had around the house to go to build stuff. And there was this one one place we went to, and they was building a brick wall. They was using you. they was using the, using the bricks, and I noticed that both of them had a different way of doing it, just a little bit. But I went over there and started trying to help Larry. And Larry told me, he said, do it this way. And in my mind, I couldn't comprehend why he was building it that way. He would use boards to build a line it up and just everything like that. But after after we got done, it was the prettiest, straightest wall yeah. I'd ever seen. And God taught me young that I don't know everything, even though that his design is something that I can't even see. The end result is what matters. That's right. So, Amen. I thank the Lord for what He's done for me in my life. Amen, yeah. Brother Daniel. Yes. Amen, buddy. Yes. Praise God. All right. Anybody else need to do anything today for the Lord? Yeah. Praise I thank the Lord for something that happened Friday. I was sitting out in the weight room and I could hear the hear them talking and really didn't know what they were saying. But then uh, Dr. Moore, he started having a prayer in class after surgery. Yeah. And uh, I was thinking, you know, there's still doctors out there that, you know, still yeah. believe. And right. uh, that just really blessed my heart. I said God was in that room. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Well, I got on my mind to take a call to make. Bless him more. Yeah, take a call to the... I think it might be a sign of humble that the Bible talks about take a call to make. You know, they right, go to take a call. They put take a call to make it so actually humble. That's humble. I believe that's yeah. going on. I'm not really sure. Let's do it. We'll take a call to make it. You know, in or in. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm going to do something this morning that I didn't come, didn't have it in my mind to do, and I ain't talked to nobody about it, but I felt like it in the spirit. The Lord spoke to me this morning right at the beginning. And then I feel like God conferred it, so if I'm wrong, it may be wrong, and I hope that he don't get too mad at me. But I'm going to ask Jacob Poe to come and bring us a message this morning. 
Amen. I ain't said a word to him about it. And I had every intention of preaching today. And, uh, but I just felt like uh, somebody said something up there about a message that Jacob had preached. Yeah. And I done had that in my heart. And I just thought, well, Lord, maybe maybe it's time for Jacob. I ain't got to hear Jacob in a while myself, personally. Amen. I like to hear him there. How many of y'all going to pray for him? Yeah, praise Lord. Would you do that? Amen. Let's pray and ask God. Lord, in the name of Jesus, God, we love Jacob. God, this young man that has taken a stand for the Lord. And I pray that you'd anoint him today, God, that you'd give him power power and liberty, God, and to be able, Lord, to uh, preach the gospel message, God, to help the people of God. It's already been good, and Lord, we could leave here right now, even with no preaching, God, but Lord, the necessity of the word, and we feel like, God, that you commence commissioning Brother Jacob this morning to bring what's on his heart, and we ask you to help him in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Let me give him this microphone. Pray for him. Amen. Preach you sure knew how to put somebody on the spot. <laughs> hey Amen. If you have your Bibles, turn to Psalms chapter number 29. Um, I didn't have anything. I'm supposed to preach tonight on Wednesday, and I was going to go up on the hill and, and ask the Lord to help me. Um, but this is the most nervous I've been since I first started preaching because I didn't have anything amen exactly laid out but i know if the lord will help me and the lord will anoint me i don't have to have anything but something to lay it out and that's it that's right. amen psalms chapter number 29 and we're going to start reading in verse number one and just stop when the lord says to stop it says give unto the lord all ye mighty give unto the lord glory and strength give unto the lord the glory do unto do unto his name worship the lord in beauty of holiness the voice of the lord is upon the waters and god the god of glory thundereth and the Lord is upon many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful, and the voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaketh the, breaketh the cedars. Yea, the Lord breaketh the cedars of, the, of Lebanon. That's all I want to read. Amen. I don't have a title, and I've, if I had a title, it's just the voice of the Lord. Amen. Just the voice of the Lord. Sometimes I have notes, and sometimes I have things laid out and prepared. Amen. But I've got some new shoes and a new shirt on this morning, not prepared to preach. Amen. But God called me to preach in season and out of season. If the Lord would help me. Amen. I'm going to preach something very simple and very short and get out of the way. Amen. But I got to thinking when I read this while he was praying, I just flipped in my Bible to something that I had read before. Amen. I got to thinking about the voice of the Lord and how his majesty can call you. Amen. It can come down in the simplest of forms and give you the most biggest answer that you could ever have in your entire life. Amen. I wonder about the voice of the Lord sometimes. I hear it often. I hear it in the truck going to work. I hear it in the truck going to school. And I often shove it to the side. But there's sometimes that I hear it and he says go. And I have to go. Amen. When Jonah heard the voice of the Lord, there was nothing in this world that he wanted worse than was to get out of going to Nineveh. There was nothing in the world that he wanted worse, amen, than to get out of going to a place that hated God, that couldn't tell the left hand from the right, that had no clue of what they were doing, amen, but the voice of the Lord said go. Amen, I've heard the voice of the Lord the past couple weeks, and I've been trying to run from it and trying to do this and trying to do that, amen, but I came to tell you that the worst thing you can ever do is run from the Lord. Amen. Because all these things in Psalm 29, it says the voice of the Lord is upon the waters, and the God of glory thundereth, and the Lord upon many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful, and the voice of the Lord is full of majesty. Amen. It said it's powerful. He gets power. He gets power on the sea. He gets power over the land. He has power over all things. Amen. But I heard a preacher preach last night or the night before about a voice of the Lord that created man. His voice is powerful, but what he created is also powerful. Amen. He gave us power and dominion over all the earth. Amen. And what we do with it is our responsibility. Amen. And the only thing that we can do is listen to the voice of God. Amen. There's things in life we can't control anything about, but our actions and our attitude. And that's a quote from my Uncle Donnie that my mom tells me all the time. Amen. And, and it never really, it would make me aggravated when I would hear it. Because I would hear it and I would say, well, I'm aggravated. That's my attitude. And my action is to punch a hole through the wall. That's how I feel sometimes. But when I go back and look at the situation, I realize that the only thing that kept me from doing that was a little voice in the back of my 
hand that said your actions and your attitude is what determines amen whether this happens or whether that happens and the voice of the Lord is more powerful than the voice of man and he can speak to you and he can calm your sea and he can calm your storm if you would just listen amen the message she was talking about amen was what's the hold up here I remember preaching it a couple weeks ago and I preached it because amen I'm at a hold up right now very few people know about it amen but I feel like I'm caught in between something and I don't know what to do but I gotta listen to the voice of the Lord and the voice of the Lord spoke to me through a preacher last Monday and he said you stay where you are and he said you do what God told you to do and he said nothing else matters there's nothing else in the world that can keep me from doing what God wants me to do but myself amen I don't know where this is coming from amen but the voice of the Lord he said his voice is as many waters amen he said when his voice when I hear his voice I gotta listen his voice did more miracles than his hands his voice calmed the sea the sea wouldn't look at him and listen and when he was doing this but all he had to say was peace be still and the waters were calm and all he had to do was say use his voice amen the voice of the Lord there was a time I knew the voice of the Lord and I know it now but there was one time amen the voice was calling and calling and calling saying preach the word go where I send you amen and I ran from it to the point to where he didn't talk to me for a while to the point to where I would look out and I would want to feel something and say God I know you're calling me just say it again and he never did amen and I got scared that I missed out on the most precious thing that's ever happened to me amen the nerves are flowing through me like a streak of lightning amen I didn't have a clue I was preaching this morning I didn't know where I was going to read but it brought me back to a time to where I was so nervous amen because Jason's voice said you're getting up to preach and I had to be ready to heed to the call amen so I got up and I would pray and it was dry it was dry than wheat it was dry I mean we've had some dry times this summer where the grass is brown we'd be mowing and getting our eyes and everything it was awful dirt would be flying that's how I felt inside amen but then I found that one time I was praying and he said I want you to preach well in the very beginning of this I'm gonna go back to it amen in the very beginning of this it's talking about worshiping the Lord amen give it to the Lord oh ye mighty give it to the Lord glory and strength give it to the Lord the glory due to his name worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness well <laughs> 